Hey guys, my name is Cody Barna. I'm a local real estate agent here in New Hampshire with eXp Realty. In today's video, we're gonna cover the 10 reasons why you shouldn't move to New Hampshire. Starting off with number 10, the weather. Despite having decent weather for a few months each year, the winter time can be cold and dark. If you're moving from a warm climate, the winter time might seem a little bit depressing to you. The summers are warm, but they can be very humid. The springtime is a nice, moderate temperature, but we do get a lot of rainfall. In the fall time, it's typically referred to as the most beautiful. Number nine is the property taxes. New Hampshire ranks as the fourth highest state in the US with a median annual payment of just under $5,800. This can be a big factor if you're planning on buying a house in New Hampshire. Number eight is public transportation. If you're coming from a larger city with great public transport, then New Hampshire is going to be a shock for you. Much of the northern part of the state has zero public transportation options. As you work your way closer to the larger cities, the only options are buses that only run at certain times of the day. Number seven is cost of living. Housing in New Hampshire is ranked at 118.6 compared to the national average of 100. And the utilities are ranked at 120.5 compared to 100 being the national average. The median home price in New Hampshire is $274,300, which is significantly more than the national average of $231,200. Number six is the nightlife. If going out for drinks and food at night is your thing, then living in New Hampshire might not be a good option. Most of the restaurants and bars away from the city aren't going to be open very late. You'll have to move into the larger cities to find bars or restaurants that are open late at night. Number five is the opioid crisis. With a headquarters in New Hampshire, I can attest being a lifelong resident of Manchester that over the years, it's got significantly worse. The weather could play a role in the influence of drugs and alcohol, considering it's dark and cold in the winter time. And most residents during that time of the year are stuck indoors. Number four is paying income tax in Boston. It's very common for New Hampshire residents to live in New Hampshire, but to work in Boston. The wages in Boston are typically much higher than you'll find in New Hampshire. If you own a house in New Hampshire and you work in Boston, then you're going to be paying high income taxes in Massachusetts on top of the high property taxes you're already paying in New Hampshire. Number three is a traffic. In the summertime, the traffic can get extremely heavy especially heading up north when Massachusetts residents are on vacation. The White Mountains is a popular tourist destination for many residents, especially during the warmer weather. There's a bunch of outdoor hikes and activities. During this time, traffic is not only heavy on weekends and holidays, but also during the week. Number two is a food scene. If you're big into having a variety of restaurants to choose from, then New Hampshire might not be for you. When you live far from the large cities, finding a place to eat can be very difficult, unless you wanna have the same food day after day. Even in the larger cities like Manchester, you'll find a lot of chain restaurants. There also won't be very many options for vegan, vegetarian, and special dietary restrictions. When compared to the West Coast, the East Coast is lagging big time when it comes to the food scene. Number one is the bugs. This is the most aggravating thing for me being a lifelong New Hampshire resident. Despite not having large bugs like other states in the US, the ones that we do have can be extremely harmful to yourself and your pets. During the warmer months, if you live in a wooded area or you plan on going on lots of hikes, the ticks can be extremely bad. That's why it's important to make sure you check yourself every time you go outside. And don't forget to check your pets as well. And to make things even worse, the mosquitoes can be relentless, especially during warm, humid summer nights. Or if you live close to a body of water, you definitely wanna be wearing bug spray. That wraps up the video, guys, and the top 10 reasons why you shouldn't move to New Hampshire. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, leave a like and comment down below. It really helps to support and grow the channel. And as always, if you're thinking about moving to New Hampshire, I'll leave my contact info in the description below. Thanks for watching.